Welcome to the video for creating region checkpoints with Test Complete. As you design tests for your application, you may want to verify that certain parts of it are displayed properly on screen. For example, you may want to ensure that your corporate logo has rendered properly, or that each product on your website has the correct photos associated with it. This isn't difficult if there are only a few pictures you need to validate, but if there are dozens or hundreds of images, it's going to become tedious very quickly. So to help you automate image checks as part of your tests, TestComplete provides region checkpoints. These checkpoints let you compare images of objects in your application to baseline images stored in your test project. And in this video, I'll show you how to create region checkpoints and add them to your tests. Our goal today is to verify that this icon displayed on our weather forecast page is accurate. And to do that, we're going to create a region checkpoint. Okay, let's get started. I've already got a project created here in Test Complete. And so the first thing I'm going to do is record a new Test Complete test. So I'm just going to click this Record a New Test button. Test Complete minimizes down to that small toolbar. And at this point, I'm going to come up to the toolbar and I'm going to select Create Region Checkpoint. That invokes this wizard. So now all I need to do is select the image I want to validate with this Finder tool here. So I'm just going to drag that Finder tool over the image in my web page. You'll notice a red highlight has popped up around the image. So I'm going to release the mouse. And you see that Test Complete has grabbed that image and is going to save it off for future comparison. So now we click the next button and we're saying here we're going to store this image with this file name right here. Then we click next. Now on this page we're offered some additional parameters but I'm just going to accept the defaults and click finish. And now I can stop recording. Okay, so here's the keyword test we just recorded, and this is the region checkpoint operation that's going to verify the appropriate icon was displayed on our weather page. If you want to review the baseline image, you can just right click on the region checkpoint operation and say go to checkpoint data editor. And that shows you what you're expecting to find in your tests. So the next thing I want to do is actually run this test. So let's jump back to our test case here and click the Run Test button. And now Test Complete's going to flip over and it will run that checkpoint again. And when the test is finished, Test Complete displays its log file. And you can see right here that the region checkpoint passed. And when I click on that line in the test log, I can come down here to the picture palette and you can see the actual image and the expected image do in fact match. But now you may be wondering, well, what would it look like if the images don't match? So to illustrate that, I've updated my web page in IE so that now we have this partly cloudy icon. And now I'm going to rerun my test so that you can see what happens when we have a failure. Okay, so I fast forwarded a little bit, and as you can see now, Test Complete's got a failure message here in our log file. And when I click on that, you can see the details here. This is the picture we were expecting to find, and then this is the picture that we actually found. Now, to view the differences between the two images, I'm going to click the Comparison Mode button, which is right here in the IDE, and that shows me exactly which pixels are different between the two images. Now, it's worth mentioning that you don't have to be in Record Mode in order to create a Region Checkpoint. In fact, you can just select Region Checkpoint right here from the Checkpoints palette in your Keyword Tests, drag that onto the test panel, and then it invokes the same wizard that we just went through a moment ago. This concludes our video on creating region checkpoints with Test Complete. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses on your screen. I wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with Test Complete.